we're talking about being free from fear. Never again living in the bondage of a spirit of fear telling us what to do. And I want, you, I want to give you a formula that's very, very critical. Every time you stand up to your fear, your faith will increase and your fear will decrease. Fear is telling you how to live your life. Fear is saying you can't walk out in the front yard and talk to this person. You can't go over here and do this. You can't, you can't step out and take this chance. You can't do this. That's what fear says. And every time you listen to fear, your faith will decrease and your fear will increase. Every time you act by faith, your faith increases and your fear decreases. And I'm saying this to you. I had just about every fear you could think of. I mean, you just kind of fill in the blank. Back the first 35 years of my life, I lived, and I was a believer. I was a believer. I had so many fears. And I see a lot of believers, precious people who love God, living their lives in fear. I've, I have seen people, truly, every day they lived in the fear of illness or in the fear of rejection or in the fear, and they never lived their lives. So you're going to stand up. You're not just going to get your thoughts captive, which is critical. And you're not just going to pray a prayer taking authority over a spirit of fear, which is critical. You're going to act. You're going to step out. Whatever that demon spirit is saying to you, you step out and you let that spirit know, you are not my boss. Jesus Christ is my boss. I'm not living my life one more minute in fear. I'm living my life by faith. And when you step out in faith, you're telling that spirit of fear, you're not welcome here anymore. It will leave and you will live your life the way that God intended in absolute freedom.